Hey guys, Scott from Aristocop.com here. And Seth from TheShrinkingPastor.com. Together, the three of us, we're Mark with Men's Breakfast Club, and welcome back. Welcome back, boy. Thank you. Good welcome morning. Welcome back, Homer. Thank you. Good Wednesday. Happy Happy Wednesday to you. Top of the Wednesday. <laughs> Bottom of the Wednesday. It's Bottom early. of the Wednesday, my friend. All right, so uh, to get started today, we're going to get into some tobacco, and we will tell you what we think about it on Friday's episode. Um, but we're going to be smoking... Virginia number one, Mac Berry and Virginia number one. Now you may recall that uh, we just got some of this in a uh, an eBay buy, and uh, that we haven't broken into nor rehumidified. But I happen to have this, and so we're gonna crack into this and give it a smoke. The other reason why I want to smoke a just a simple Virginia today is I have my new Savinelli 320. Um, so I'm joining the 320 Club. And what is the 320 Club? Ask me what the 320 Club is, boy. What is the 320 Club? I'm glad boy? you asked with such enthusiasm. The 320 is a style of pipe by Savinelli. Um, it's part of their Trevi family, like the Trevi Fountain. Okay. Ready for this? I'm going to do a mess around. Mm. That's it. And That's what's it, interesting about this pipe, like pipe is it reminds me an awful lot of a Morgan nose warmer. Wouldn't you say? Yeah. Let me see that. It is unfortunately not a pipe for clenching, though I do see a, p a few people on YouTube that, that'll they'll clench this That's for, for a few moments. Um, it is a filtered pipe, and what's interesting about the Savinelli pipes is they use a little piece of bamboo as their filter. Mm. So their smoke is the smoke is passing both through and around the bamboo. So not 100% of the smoke is getting filtered. These are the filters right here. They, they come in this little, I don't even know what you want to call them. And you snap them off and jam them into the pipe. Now these will fit a filtered Missouri Marisham pipe. And um, I want to say six months ago or so, I did a test of some bamboo filters to see what I thought of them, and I, I liked them. So I may, may smoke this with the filter. At least the first few bowls I will. Yeah, especially if it's what they recommend. So a brand new pipe. It has not been broken in yet. I don't know if you can see into the, the bowl at all. There's no yeah, carbon nothing. at all, just bare briar. And uh, so what I'm going to do is take this Virginia tobacco... Let's, let's talk about this Virginia tobacco real quick. I, I was going to smoke it in the shortstop. Oh, right? yeah. It's... Uh, it is way too uh, rough a cut it's, for it's that. A, it's it's pretty... I don't know what they color. would call that. It's a very thick ribbon cut. Yeah. Let's see what they say. There's no way I was going to be able to get any let's, of it down uh, in there. Let's read the label. This says... Oh, there's a book on the back of this tin. In 1955, Virginia Number no. 1 was introduced to the world's pipe smokers, and today, Virginia Number no. 1 is one of Mac Barron's classics. The natural sweetness from the carefully selected, selected Virginia tobaccos are to be enjoyed every time you light up this magnificent blend. In addition to a slow, cool smoke, this ready-rubbed blend gives you a, the slightly sweet smoke. Try the Virginia number one and find out for yourself why Virginia number one is reckoned as a Mac Baron classic blend. So they're reckoning. Re I reckon <laughs> this it's is classic. A classic blend. All right, so uh, for my first smoke in this, I'm going to fill this eh, probably a third full. Hmm. You know, with a, with a briar pipe, what you don't want to do is fill it all the way up to the top on your first few smokes. Because what what you risk hap what you risk happening is that you'll you'll begin to um, you know, it's break in, but you'll begin to carbonize the top portion of the chamber before, before the bottom the portion bottom. of the chamber. Your Makes chamber sense. will grow into kind of that shape. The tobacco at the top, when you pack it well enough for the tobacco at the top, the smoke it'll it'll not smoke well at the bottom. So mm. you want to begin by kind of burning away the bottom a little bit. Right. People have asked me about corn cobs. Is this something that you have to do? Now, you don't have to do it, but it's, it's not a bad idea to do that because, again, it is the bottom of the, the corn cob that I need to get rid of after the first few smokes. Let that uh, silly thing burn away at the bottom. 
All right. So why did I buy a briar pipe, you ask? Why did you buy a briar pipe? It's too late. Okay. I guess we don't get to know. I'm happy with my corn cobs. Maybe I'll become the corn cob guy. This guy can become the the new briar guy. Um, I've never smoked briars exclusively. But there have been a number of times where I've tried to smoke more briars, get away from cobs. Back in the day when the only cobs I could find were legends. Mm -hmm. They were selling at drugstores. And uh, the last briar pipe that I purchased uh, eight or nine years ago was this one right here, which I was kind of surprised the other day when I went rooting around for this and found it. And uh, surprised by the fact that... you surprised that you found it? No. Surpri oh. I knew exactly where it was, oh. but surprised that it is a Dublin shape. Hmm. which is the same as the Mark Twain that we're selling now. But let me show you Can't we all just get what, along? what happened with this Pick pipe. Pick a name, stick with it. it uh, this is just it's just a basket pipe, Italian briar, lots of uh, Bondo on it. But uh, while smoking it in the shop one day, I dropped it, and you can see it just shattered the side of that. Now, I could repair that. I can cut that off and drill it out and make it a little bit shorter. But it was frustrating for me could, i just i just got it broken in when i did that could you use something something like a clay or something like sugru on that to repair that that cause a problem well the part that broke away you're wearing didn't... jeans what is going on sorry just now notice yeah <laughs> my world is upside down topsy turvies not smoking a cob and wearing jeans who are you what they, have they you go, done with my they father? go hand in hand with the briar pipe. Oh, man. Um, anyway, that, that broke my heart. And, and so I went back to smoking cobs. And then right after that happened, we took our trip out west and wound up at Missouri Mirisham, mm. where I found out that there were much larger corn cobs available. And so I discovered the Diplomat and uh, the General and all those pipes that I love yeah. so much now. So I just gave up briars. This is the first briar pipe that I have purchased. I don't want to say that I've smoked because maybe I've smoked one here or there. Right. But the first one that I've purchased in those eight years since I put that one down. Hmm. Well, it put itself down when it hit the floor. So you didn't answer my question. Could you repair that with something like clay or sugru or? I just I like saying sugru. I don't know. I mean, maybe you could, but. Some of those things, well, clay would clay would break away on that. It would have to be something that's pretty strong that you could could build up and then drill out. And with that, for that matter, I might as well just glue a piece of briar wood onto it. Yeah. Or like you said, just chop it off. Chop it off. That would be easiest. Maybe someday I'll do something with that. But right now, it doesn't make a video. It just doesn't mean that much to me. If only you had people that would watch that sort of thing. <laughs> Let us know in the comments if you'd like to see him do that. So I'm breaking my briar fast right here, and you guys got to see it. What's it feel like? It feels dirty. I know when you break a juice fast, you don't leave the toilet for a day or two, so I hope it's nothing like that. <laughs> Otherwise, you're going to need a new pair of jeans. <laughs> it might explain why I'm wearing the jeans, then. Mm. So anyway, Virginia, simple, basic tobacco. I don't typically smoke straight Virginias because to me they smell like cigarettes. The the after, the room note, and what I smell like if I've been smoking Virginias. I, I smoked um, a tin of Rattray's Virginia that I actually liked here one night in the shop and uh, went back home and I have never smoked a cigarette. My wife said, have you been smoking cigarettes? Mm. So it's, it's that prominent a smell. It's crazy. But it has, uh, they have no flavorings, no toppings, no, um, what's the word I'm looking for, casings. Mm -hmm. And when you're trying to break your pipe in, you don't need anything else in the pipe but tobacco. Yeah, makes sense. Got anything else? We got a lot else. Yeah. We're doing some. Uh, this to be about me? 
No, we're 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 doing some marathon filming tonight because we're getting ready for our trip to Denver. So um, we're uh, got a, a handful of things we want to talk about that you guys will get to see over the next two or three weeks. Um, keep uh, keep us up to date in the comments, and we might film a few things while on the road. Uh, hopefully, I suspect anyway. that we will. Yeah, and we'll talk about we'll talk about next week about kind of what our our go bag for summer vacation is going to look like, uh, both tobacco wise and some technology stuff. I've I've got a few cool new toys uh, I want to share with you guys. So that's it for today. Hopefully we will Man, see that you went on. Fast. No, it does. Hopefully we'll see you again on Friday hey, morning. Can I ask them a quick question? Absolutely. If you guys uh, know of any place in Denver or Littleton, we'll be in Littleton, Colorado. Any pipe shops that you would recommend that we visit, um, let us know. We'd like to include that in our trip. And I don't, know, I don't want to post our route because we may for those of you unfamiliar it, right? with for those of you unfamiliar with the Denver area, Littleton is Denver. So <laughs> if if any shops in Denver, let us know. Littleton's south of Denver. Actually, Denver. Grandma and Grandpa live in Denver now. I was talking to Brandon. They live in a little alcove, a little finger really? of Denver. Mm-hmm. That's what he said. Yeah, that also feels wrong. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we'll, we're going to be going all over the place, and, and we might let you know kind of as we make those final decisions. Um, follow us on Instagram and Facebook and Facebook, Arissa Cobb, and Twitter, and we'll we'll be uh, keeping you guys trying, posted as we go. Turn to clench us. Yeah, this isn't gonna work. No, not, not, a, not, a, look, not a clencher. You, you you look like you're having some of those <laughs> breaking the fast troubles. So on that note, we will see you guys on Friday. Make it a great day.